like semicolon, not comma. Now this one, I'll explain, but this is just setting the width of the line renderer, and this one's pretty important. If I open Photoshop and show you quickly. <coughs> And time today will be good. Okay. Because you new. Click OK. When the line renderer is made, it has points in it. And um, we set two points. So that's one point, two point. So the line renderer is going to go, okay, you said two points. So connect that to that point. If we said one, you're going to see this. Nothing. You're just gonna see that point, and it, it won't shoot no line render out. Because we said two points, it will join it with that one, and then that one. If we said four, that, and that, it will join a line under like so. So it would be like this then. From there to there to there. That's what the points do. Okay, save this. Okay, so let's just go in Unity and make sure. <coughs> okay, there is still that error there. Hold on, what is it then? Oh. oh okay, I see. I see what's going on. Um, it's not lowercase f. It's dot find with a capital. All right, that's that. Good. That's all you need to set up a line render, okay? Now we need to start setting its origin and where it's gonna come from. Where it's gonna start, the starting point, and so on and so forth. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say for origins. And it's gonna be from the transform position. So it's gonna be equals to transform dot position. Now remember, not our transform, it's the light transform. Sorry, the the holder transform, which is this. Okay, that's that done. We want what direction do we want it to shoot out from? And which is the forward in this case. So we're gonna say far direction and it's gonna be equals to transform dot forward. Close that. <clears throat> now the next one is going to be for endpoint. Where does the way end? So not the way. Sorry, the line under. So it's going to be equals to origins. Origins plus direction times how long you want the line runner to be. So I'm gonna just give it a good long value. Okay, that's that done. Next thing you need is the ray, ray cost stuff. So for hit, obviously you know what it's gonna be. Ray cost. Hit. Okay. Now, that we have the line and stuff set up and the positioning that is going to start from the directions in the face and where the endpoint is we're going to start using the ray cost to see where we're heading and then we're going to decrease the line renderer so we're going to say if open bracket close bracket open curly brace and close curly brace we're going to say in this physics dot ray cost open bracket close bracket Inside this, you want the origins position and come up, comma. I think I've got a direction yet. Direction, comma, hit, save, and then we're going to say over here endpoint. Why is it not showing any of the variables? Endpoint does the endpoint is going to be equals to hit point, and then we're going to say line render dot set 
point, uh, what's your set? Uh, set position, open bracket, close bracket, one, comma, end point. All right. Oh, sugar, I forgot to do something. Copy this, and I'm going to set the line render now. Uh, paste that above the physics ray cost and put this to zero and replace this with origins and save okay so far no errors uh, take that script and attach it to holder no uh, where is it laser points laser points there we go as you can see the line under is red red color when it makes it you'll see it attaches it there you go aha uh -huh. <coughs> why is that happening because the positions updating constantly we're going to change that okay just want to show you that as a simple mistake and you see how big the line render was that's because of the width we set ourselves change this to late update we don't want it to update much Okay, and now as for the set width, 0.2 is a reasonable one. 0.2, and save. And now if you look at the difference, you'll see it completely change. There you go, you see it didn't update the, the line render. And 0. Zero 0.2 is still too big. I'll save it and that should be okay now okay that's interesting so it goes fine when it's looking at anything else but hold on a second I think it's a simple mistake down here. Okay, so does it? Hold on, let me have a look what's going on there. Okay. Ah, okay, I see what the issue is. Um, on this if statement here, just delete the two curly braces. And now it should be okay. Now as you can see, it actually cuts itself down if it hits something. So if I show you this from this perspective, you can see it carries on going non-stop. But if I touch the ground, you see it comes, it cuts itself down to the end of the point. Yep. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you create a very basic laser pointer. It's still not finished yet. Do not forget that. I need to add the a dot at the end later on i'll do that and uh, yeah as always thank you for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe and i will see you soon take care bye bye